What is up guys, it's Zach here with my Wrestlemania 27 pay-per-view predictions. Wrestlemania with live on pay-per-view tomorrow night. And you know, I know I've been gone for a while. And the truth is, I've actually thought of quitting, you know, closing my YouTube account. I actually announced that on Twitter. I don't know if you guys follow me, but I announced that I was going to close my account. I just, you know, I basically said I didn't have it in me anymore. I just didn't have fun doing this. But, you know... I've been thinking about it, and I just can't leave and not have a reason why to leave, you know. I just can't close it and never be heard from again and have unanswered questions like, why did he leave, blah, 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 blah. But, uh, you know, especially since WrestleMania is tomorrow, I just, I couldn't leave yet. So, if I ever do leave in the future, just, I will make an announcement on it. I'm just not going to leave randomly like that. But, uh, as I was saying, WrestleMania is tomorrow. You know, when you think of WrestleMania, you are excited and just cannot wait for it. This year, however, I've kind of just been on the uh, whatever side of WrestleMania because nothing really interests me this year about WrestleMania. Now, the card really doesn't interest me. You know, uh, I'm not saying it's going to be a, a terrible show. It's just, the car doesn't interest me, you know? You have Cena versus The Miz, which was a year and a half ago, a squash match on pay-per-view, which I was actually at, by the way. Um, you have... Uh, fuck. You have Edge and Del Rio, which should be good. You know, you have Undertaker and Triple H, which is a rematch from WrestleMania 17 10 years ago, which is, they're acting like that match never happened, this is their first ever match, which is stupid. You have Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler, and the battle of the commentators. You know, you have uh, Sheamus and Daniel Bryan, which should be pretty good. You have an eight-man tag team match featuring Cora versus Big Show, Kane, Santino, and Vladimir, which basically... You know, the match basically speaks for itself. You have a six-person mixed tag team match involving Snooki. Yeah, that's the really looking forward to. What else do you have? Uh, you have Mysterio and Rhodes, which should be actually pretty good. Um, you have Punk and Orton, which should be good as well, actually. And uh, am I missing? I think I'm missing a match. Uh, what match my mission? What match I should say? Am I missing? Uh, I think I've only said eight. Uh, if I said all nine, then whatever. I don't know. Whatever. I'm missing a match. Whatever. It'll be in the prediction still. But, you know, this year's WrestleMania just... It hasn't really excited me. Especially the build. I mean, the build... You didn't even have the matches really been built, alright? For Undertaker and Triple H, you had them cutting the same promos every week. Alright, that's fun. Miz and Cena. That was built around Miz, Cena, Rock. Rock's not even in the match. Pretty stupid. Edge and Del Rio. You had more Del Rio and Christian than more Edge and Del Rio. Christian's not even in the match. He'll be managing Edge in the match. Pretty stupid. Um, uh, what else? Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole. That's actually had a pretty good build. Um, I think that's about it for the build. Um, Mysterio and, um, uh, Rhodes. Um, basically, you have Cody Rhodes crying a little bitch. Uh, Orton and Punk, you basically had Orton bury the entire new Nexus. So, you know, the build for this mania has been pretty crappy, I would say. But, nothing less. I'm not going to take it away from the show. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. But, I want to show you guys. Uh, I got some new stuff wrestling related stuff I'm gonna show you show you the DVDs first I got the uh, true story of Wrestlemania that's the only WWE DVD I got I got some independent ROH's and more uh, right there world's finest the best of Brian Danielson his first best of um, got HG net volume 2 3 and 4 uh, you can look through the entire thing uh, bitter friends different enemies 2 Glory by Honor 9, Tag Title Classic 2, Champions vs. All-Stars, Only the Strong Survive, Soul Cow Showdown 2, The General Art of Making Enemies, uh, Kurt WrestleMania, PWD 7, uh, Evolve 2, and Evolve 6. 
So, yeah, those are the DVDs. And I actually got some more stuff. Yeah, I'm a fucking pig. Got some more stuff. I want to show you guys. Um, hey, look, Kool Aid Man t shirt. I got a Kool Aid Man t shirt. And I got a Sonic t shirt. Yeah, it has Sonic on the. It's a blue t shirt with Sonic right there. It's out in the garage. I actually wore it the other day. Pretty sick ass shirt. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. That's the. Uh, new Kings of Wrestling t-shirt where it says Kings Reign Supreme. And I got some new WWE t-shirts right there. The Sheamus t-shirt. Um, the Loach one. Very, very sick. Right there, the Nexus Top Rope. Huge original Nexus fan, so I got it. And I got the Raw is War t-shirt. So, yeah. Got, got those shirts off the big... 85% uh, off sale. But anyways, I'm wandering off. You guys want to hear my predictions, not my, you know, life story. So, let's shut the hell up and get to my predictions for WrestleMania 27. Rey Mysterio versus Cody Rhodes. Um, you know, this has had some good build to the match. It hasn't been a phenomenal build, but it's been a decent build. Um, I don't say Rey Mysterio's going to go over here. I just don't see Cody Rhodes really winning this match and beating... Uh, Rey Mysterio, you know, it's of course Rey Mysterio, when you face him at Mania, odds are you're probably going to lose. So, uh, nothing less, it should be a good match, but my pick's that Rey Mysterio is going to go over and win this match. United States Championship match, United States Champion Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. Uh, you know, uh, this should be a very good match as well. I'm going to go with Sheamus to retain the United States Championship, even though I really want to see Daniel Bryan win in his first WrestleMania match. But, you know, Sheamus just got the title, like, what, two, three weeks ago? So, I don't see why they take the belt off him now. So, my pick's at Sheamus and go over and retain the United States Championship. Eight-man tag team match. Big Show, Kane, Santino Morella, and Vladimir Kozlov versus The Core. Um, pretty simple. Core's gonna go over here. You know, Core's been dominant ever since they debuted on SmackDown. I've been a huge fan of The Core since they debuted. Um, you know, you got Santino and Cross up on that team, so you automatically know they're not going to win. But, you know, Big Show and Kane should do some damage, but, um, you know, at the end, I'm going to go with Core, go over, and win this match. Randy Orton versus CM Punk. You know, this this feud's been okay, you know, I'll tell you the truth, this doesn't have the, the best build. I mean, the only build you really had was, you know, Punk. Uh, getting punted by Orton, you know, two and a half years ago, and you have Randy Orton bury the entire Nexus. So, um, you know, this match should be good, though, hopefully. Uh, my pick's not Randy Orton's gonna go over. I just don't see CM Punk beating Randy Orton here. Most likely at Extreme Rules, if they have a rematch at Extreme Rules, but I definitely don't see Punk going over in this match here. So, my pick's that Randy Orton's gonna win. Six person mixed tag team match. John Morrison, Trish Stratus, and Snooki versus Dolph Ziggler and Lay Cool. Um, pretty simple pick. Pretty simple pick. Uh, Morrison, Stratus, and Snooki are gonna go over. I don't see Lay Cool or Ziggler winning this match. Uh, this match is just time filler basically. So my picks that Morrison, Stratus, and Snooki are gonna win. Jerry the King Lawler versus Michael Cole with Jack Swagger with special guest referee Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, I think I had Jerry the King Lawler is going to go over here. I don't see why Michael Cole would go over here. I mean, he's only he wrestled in like a few tag matches. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that from 2008, but I don't see him winning this at all. Stone Cold is going to, you know, pin, get his ass pinned. So my pick side, Jerry the King Lawler is going to go over here. The World Heavyweight Championship match. World Heavyweight Champion Edge with Christian versus Alberto Del Rio with Brodus Clay. Um, I think that Alberto Del Rio is going to win the World Heavyweight Championship. I do believe it is his destiny to win this match. Um, there has been talks about having Christian turn heel here and cost Edge the match. I don't know if it's going to happen, but if that happens or not, regardless, I think Alberto Del Rio will win the World Heavyweight Championship here. Uh, nothing less, it should be a good match. I do honestly think this should be a triple threat involving Christian. But, you know, Christian's still kind of involved in the match, so I don't really argue with so my picks that new World Heavyweight Champion, Alberto Del Rio. No Holds Barred match, The Undertaker versus Triple H. Um, 
you know, I don't like how they didn't mention their WrestleMania match at 17, 10 years ago. But, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I guess. They're acting like this is their first ever encounter at WrestleMania, which is not. But uh, my picks at Undertaker's going to be over. There, uh, there's no way I see the streak ending right now, or at all, to tell you the truth. If the streak is going to end, I think Shawn Michaels is going to end it. But hopefully this is a great match. Can't wait to watch it. But uh, my picks at Undertaker will go 19-0. Rest in peace, Triple H. In the main event of WrestleMania 27, WWE Championship match, WWE Champion The Miz versus John Cena. My pick is that we're gonna have still the WWE Champion The Miz. I do believe The Miz will retain the WWE Championship. I think The Rock will come out and screw John Cena over setting a match for next year's WrestleMania. So, you know, just because it's WrestleMania doesn't mean John Cena's gonna win every time, guys. So, I do believe The Miz will retain the WWE Championship here, and hopefully he does, because I really want him to retain the title. So my pick is still the WWE Champion, The Miz. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my WrestleMania 27 pay-per-view predictions. WrestleMania will be live on pay-per-view tomorrow night. I cannot wait for it personally. And, you know, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Zach, and I'm out guys. Until next time. And by the way, I am not guaranteeing a WrestleMania review. I'm sorry. Uh, tell you guys the truth, I'm not even sure if I'm watching WrestleMania tomorrow. So, sorry. Um, it's whatever. Yeah. Bye. Bitch.